I really gotta know what all this business is right here. Look at all this. Look at all that. Look at all that. Oh my goodness, look at all these pea states and... I mean, this is fun stuff right here. I want to know what it all means. Oh, I'm not even going to go that deep. That's scary. But yeah. This is a hell of a BIOS right here. Right now, I just got that on it. So, I'm not really going to do anything crazy overclocking. I'm just going to run baselines. But, I'm going to have some stuff to go through, it looks like. Let's just uh, do that for now. You guys see a boot, boot scoop, putting them in the boot. That's what I'm waiting for. There it is. Good, bro. Two boots. There you go. Mine seems to be doing a whole lot better with all auto voltage than I've seen a lot of uh, other places uh, show. I don't know what that's about. See what happens when it goes uh, all the cores. Well, usually what happens when you do CPU Z test, it uses up all the business and uh, every other monitoring thing gets confused. Uh, let's see what. Uh Hardware info. Hardware info has to say about this. So I'm running it at the benchmark again here. Let's see what it shows. Still doing the single thread. That's doing the multi thread. That's still the voltage I'm seeing on V-Core. So V-Core is a little confused. I'm seeing... 1.25 over here. And let's see what... Ryzen Master has to say about things. So you got it on that mode. Let's close hardware info now this should be right so now I'm gonna run CPU Z bench again 
doing single core. And that's doing the multi-threaded. Doesn't really get that hot. I mean, for an air cooler, that's not bad. I don't remember the last time I used an air cooler. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm not having that many problems with this guy. Uh, look for a more complete look at this. Maybe Sunday, maybe tomorrow.